and welcome to another booktube video from me lauren from lauren and the books i hope you all have it i hope i hope you're having a lovely well bank holiday friday is here in the uk you might not be in the uk but it's bank holiday friday here in the uk today's video um is about running and starting an online book club now i've made a video about running and starting a book club before um and i've watched that back and actually i made it a couple of years ago but everything i've said in that video well done past me because it really does make sense so you will get more information also from that video so i will link that video down below um please do go and check that out but this is more sort of like building upon that video um and also how to run an online book club so i feel like i should really maybe talk about my credentials in terms of how i know how to run an online book club um i run three book clubs at the moment um uh and um all of them have uh, because of uh, well two of them before were, were online book clubs um but m most recently my my in real life book club has become an online book club because of the times that we live in these unprecedented times um so i'm going to talk you through the three book clubs that i run um as they all run online and they all run slightly differently and hopefully you can get some information from that maybe you can start a book club uh, maybe you could uh, have a chat with your friends and maybe get a book club going um I'm really really enjoy my book clubs um in particular my patreon book club which is the one i'm going to talk about first i look forward to it every month i really 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 love it and i just feel like it's a really nice thing to have um to look forward to at the end of every month um it means i read things that i probably ordinarily wouldn't wouldn't get to um and it's just lovely to chat about books it's like one of my favorite things to do is to chat about books so let's start as i said i'm gonna start with me my patreon book club so um i run a patreon book club um whereby um if you haven't heard of patreon before it is a, a platform where you can tip or um give uh, give sponsorship and uh, money to your favorite creators um i've got um, a couple of tiers on there and one of the tiers my five dollar tier so for five dollars a month i run an online book club um this runs at the end of every month so the last sunday of every month um i do a live show a youtube live show um and my patreons are able to click on the link on my patreon feed um which takes them to the live show of me chatting about a book that we've picked together ourselves so i pick the genre and then i give the guys two options um and then um, they get to vote on which book that they want to read um and then for an hour sometimes more than an hour because we just get chatty um we talk about a book at the end of the month which is lovely so um this runs um, as I said, via a YouTube link. So I am like this on, on YouTube, normally sat over at my table because I've got a lot of accoutrements to be getting on with. Um, and then I keep an eye on the, the comments because I sort of chat about the book and um, guys can comment in between. And how, how it works is that... Um, it, it runs so that we start with um, we, we start with general thoughts on the book. So I'll give my general thoughts um, and then leave a time for you guys to to give uh, you, to, for the guys to give their general thoughts. I read out the comments. Some people are watching on their phones, so I wouldn't get to read all the comments. So I read out the comments as they're coming in. Um, then I ask three questions. Um, it's normally three. Sometimes it sort of leeches into four. Um, in the same sort of way, I'll ask the question, I'll repeat it two or three times, I give my answer, and then guys type in the comments, their, um, their comments on that question. Then at the end we have a sort of open discussion, talk about anything we haven't mentioned. Uh, people talk amongst themselves in the comments, which is really nice, like a chat room sort of function thing. Um, and it's lovely. And then we, we end with a star rating. Um, and then at the moment I make a sort of league table of the books that we've read that year um, and put them in, um, in, in order, um, which is just lovely. And as I said, like... I just love it every month. I really, it really is one of the highlights of my month. Coming to the end, uh, coming to that at the end of every month is just such a lovely thing to do. Um, and yeah, it's the things that I read on my Patreon book club are always um, linked to my booktube um, channel in some way. So for instance, um, when I was taking part in the Irish Readathon, the two books that I put forward for the vote for, for the Patreons to pick were both books written by Irish authors. Um, next month in June, um, I'm doing something called Pride and Prejudice, where I'm going to read Pride and Prejudice and I'm going to read books, retellings, adaptations, books inspired by Pride and Prejudice. And the book that we read for my Patreon book club will be linked to that as well. So it's a nice sort of like extension of my youtube channel um which i love doing so yeah i really really enjoy that so that might be something that you're you're interested in doing maybe doing a live show and if you've got like a, a bigger amount of people and i know there's like zoom and things like that i'm not going to talk about zoom in this this video because i don't use zoom for any of my um book or the other one house party i don't use those for my for my um, online book clubs but that for me works really really well um and yeah i was <laughs> so like a shameless plug um if you're interested in joining that book club um i will leave the link uh, to my patreon down below because please do join we have a lovely time we really really do if you are part of a uh, book club um say below how much of a lovely time you have 
if you do have a lovely time, and I mean, you all seem to have a lovely time. Um, the next one I run is an online book club. So this is just called my online book club. This started um, many years ago. Um, I put a Facebook status up saying, does anyone want to join an online book club? We'll chat about a book on Facebook chat at the end of every month. Um, and loads of people got involved. Now gradually, that, so, so we started off with like 30 members and that's gradually sort of whittled down. Um, and now there's five of us and it's a real lovely random mix of people. Um, so it's all people who, apart from me, have never met each other in real life. So I've got like, oh, and actually one of them, two, one of them I've never even met in, in real life anyway. So I've got a work colleague, a girl I used to go to university with, um, a friend of my cousin's, who came to running club um uh, a girl who I, I i i used to hang around with her boyfriend and who else just like yeah there's that that's it i think there's only five of us yeah so it's a real random mix of uh, of, of, of people um which is really really nice um and uh, we chat on facebook uh, messenger at the end of every month um and uh, that could run on any sort of group app so if you if you've got people who use whatsapp or um like even instagram chat and things like that it runs in much of the same way as like we start with general thoughts then i've got three questions and we just chat amongst that i always do it on my laptop because it's easier to keep up with my laptop um in terms of like chat particularly if there's like more than five people um, but yeah, that's really, really fun. So, so, re so you can see in my previous video, I talk about more of how I run this, but more recently, so that book club has always been me sort of picking the books that we're going to read, just like getting the, the, the uh, questions and things. But more recently, because I just had sort of so much book club stuff going on, um, I said to the girls in that book club, does anyone want to, um, c can we maybe start sharing this out? So now every month um, we take it in turns to pick a book and get the questions and sort of host it. Um, which is lovely, because it means for the first time in a really, really long time, I've been able to join in with a book club, um, which I haven't picked the questions myself, I haven't picked the books myself. Um, and it's been really, really, really fun. Really, really fun. So I would definitely recommend that as another way. Maybe sharing out amongst your friends, picking a book each month, picking some questions, taking it turns. And then if there's like five of you, that means and if you're doing it every month, that means you're only gonna have to sort of do one in five months, uh, where you'll have to plan the, um, plan the chat and things like that. But that's very enjoyable. Um, so yeah. It's been nice to join in proper. And then my last book club, which has more recently become an online book club, um, is my work book club, which has been running for like actual years. Like I think we're approaching 10 years now, which is unbelievable. Um, and that's a book club where we normally meet in, in person. We meet in a seminar room at work uh, once a month, taking turns to make cake, etc., etc. Obviously can't do that at the moment. Many people working from home. We don't want to be in each other's company, social distancing, etc. So we've taken that recently to email. So at the end of the month, on the day, no, sorry, so that, that one we meet at the beginning of the month, um, on the day that we're due to meet, um, we all, um, I, I started an email thread and just said, um, please give your thoughts on this book. If you've got, um, if, if your thoughts include spoilers, include spoiler in the, the chapter heading, uh, in, the, in, in the chapter heading, in the email heading, and um, if they don't, then leave that out, um, and just chat amongst yourselves. And that <laughs> ran quite well, actually. We all sort of like gave our thoughts, and it was nice to sort of have a big block of thoughts rather than ordinarily we'd sort of like, intercept here with one little sentence it was nice to write like almost like a, it felt like a school project and I feel like if you've potentially got people um where you're not in the same time zones or things like that to be able to 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 read a book and then discuss it that way um with a with a number of you even with two of you is a really really nice thing to do it's like a real piece it feels like a nice piece of work um, and I also feel like maybe it would work with um people who are a bit more technologically challenged let's say if people can uh can can, can send an email which uh, <laughs> like most people can that might work better for them than like joining in with a, a zoom meeting or, um, or, or or tuning into a facebook um a facebook chat or something like that um, and a lot of people aren't on social media so with email that would work better as well so those are the three um online book clubs that i run and there's some sort of like thoughts um i haven't really done this as a sort of like how to video but more of a sort of like this is what i do maybe you could do that as well and as i said do go and check out that original video that i, uh, I made um about starting in a book club because I feel like that's got some really really helpful things as well the only thing I want to end this video on is just by giving you some recent books that we've read in my book club um in, in my book clubs that have been great so if you're if you're looking to start a book club and you, you can't find it you want a, a, a book to start with um and I would recommend excuse me I've just dropped me a bit of paper and I would recommend, and I say this in the other video, if you're starting a book club, make sure your first book is an absolute banger to get people really interested. Um, obviously you can't pick a book that everyone's gonna love all the time, but like one that's really great for discussion, or even if you don't like the book, you've still got lots to discuss about. 
Um, and here are just a, a few books that um, we've read um, um, with my book clubs in sort of like the, the past year or so. But I really, really, really would love it if you're a member of a book club or um, or there's a book that you think would be really great for discussion. Please, please, please leave it in the comments because then people can use this as a sort of like, oh yeah, that'd be good for discussion. Or if you wanted to like collate a whole load of books, put them in a pot and then pick one out every month, because that's what I used to do in my in my real life book club, then this might be a great place to sort of find books for that. So the books I've written down here, The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setterfield, we did that for my um, online book clubs, um, which was like, there's so much to talk about. It's one of those sort of like historical fiction where something's going on in the past and something's going on now. Loads and loads of different layers, loads of mystery and things like that. You're finding out things before the characters are. Um, lots and lots and lots to talk about there. Um, the Farm by Joanne Ramos, which is what we actually read for my online book club last month. That was the first time that I hadn't run online book club. Um, and uh, one of the girls picked that book, which I'm so pleased she did because I've been wanting to read it for ages and it was really great. Um, and that's about, um, I've just talked talked about it in my wrap up. So sorry for the constant talking about it um but that's about um a uh, a sort of retreat where uh, women are kept and they 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 have ba they're called hosts and they have babies for for sort of wealthy customers and clients um and they, they sort of talk about the the what the ethics are within that and um and yeah really 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 interesting and so much to talk about and so sort of, that's one of the books that i would say that's like great because even if you don't enjoy that book there's so much stuff to talk about in there then that would be a really great one to talk to chat about daisy jones and the six by taylor jenkins reed um that's a really interesting one because um that 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 might be um that's a book that doesn't like read like a novel it reads like a radio transcript and the audiobook is fantastic as well um and i feel like that would give a lot to chat about because there's it, it feels so real when you're reading it and there's a lot of sort of like multimedia aspects you can if you're listening to the audiobook they have like songs and things like that and you can search out that stuff um it's about a band um who merge with a solo singer and their tour and they're sort of like coming up in the world um, and there's lots of characters in there and as i said it's told like a radio play so there's no sort of like description well there is description within people talking and it's really interesting that you hear about um different events from diff uh, the same event from different people's point of views and that sort of thing so that's very interesting to talk about um, and then two more grown-ups by marion keys because we talked about that in my patreon book club um i think that might even have been the first book we talked about this no i think that was a february book my god no it wasn't it was the march book because it was an irish author my god that's one of my favorite books of all time so much happens in that book it's written so great um and there was so much to talk about because marion keys really sort of like covers some heavy topics in like quite a um light way and that's not to undermine it that was just a really enjoy it was a really really enjoyable book to chat about um and there was it was it was nice to talk about it in a way that you sort of talk about books when you were at school like who was your favorite character and like because there was just so much to cover in there. The questions that I asked that month were really like generic questions because there were so many different characters and plot lines and things that everyone had something to say. Really, really, really love that book. And then the last one I would pick um, is the Cormoran Strike series by Robert Galbraith. Um, these are ones that we read. Um, every time a new one comes out, we read them in my In Real Life book club um, because we started reading them all together and we've continued to read them all together. Um, so that's really nice to sort of have something that you can chat about. And also because there's like, it's, it, it's a crime series um, where Cormoran and strike is a private investigator each book is a different um case but the same characters uh, are, are, are mentioned throughout these this series of books um and there's so many twists and turns and there's so many like oh who did it or oh, i thought it was this person i thought it was this person i never know who's done it in those books never um so that's really great so so those are some books that i would recommend for definite put me put my notes down over here now um do please write below in the comments if you have discussed a book in a book club um if you've really really loved it or if you think or if you've read a book that you think would be great for discussion please 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 do put it in the comments down below because then as i said people can use this as a sort of like starting uh, starting help uh, for for books that you could read in book club um as i said if you would like to join my online book club my patreon book club then um, the link will be down below would i'd love to have you it's a great great place i really look forward to it every month and uh yeah i will see you all again soon for another book video goodbye